Hi guys and welcome back to Theory Lab and what we're looking at in this course is triad chords. Okay, so in the previous courses where we've looked at the essentials um, of theory, we have looked at triad chords because all a triad chord is, is a three note chord. Simple as that. But there are some rules that we have to kind of bear in mind as we go through this and this is what I'm going to go through with you. Now, first of all, we've already covered major triads, minor triads and diminished triads and that was in the kind of the essentials section. Okay, so if you haven't looked at that yet, I would highly recommend going back to that. There'll be a link underneath the video. Now, what we're going to look at in this course is sus triad, so sus2 and sus4, as well as augmented. We're going to talk a little bit about the sound that they create and kind of typically where they're going to get used, but basically it's all about the theory in this section, as you can tell <laughs> by my lovely lab jacket and theory board, plus my variety of colourful pens that we're going to be using. So what we'll do now, guys, is we're going to go through and put on this board a C major scale. Okay, so we're going to just put this scale on there so that we can just recap this major minor diminished thing, just so you've got that. And then we've got a good launching pad for going away and doing the next sus and diminished chords. Okay, so let's see if you remember all of this stuff. So I'm going to take my blue pen, wonderful blue pen, and just write out a C major scale. Okay, this means that we're going to be constructing a C major chord, a C minor chord, a C diminished chord, because we're using the C major scale. Okay, so let's just write this out here. So we've got, um, we've got C... D, E, nice easy scale this one, F, G, A, B, and C, okay? Nice scale, C major scale, always one to kind of dive in at because there's no sharps and no flats, okay? And we'll also put the numbers above it, okay? So one, two, this is important, very important, four, five, six, seven, and then one or eight again. They're your degrees of the scale. Now, if you remember when we first did this, the way we managed to work out the scale was using this formula. So we used tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 and semitone. Okay? And that formula gave us from the 12 notes of the full scale of the of the sorry, the western notes that are usable, so C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, all of them, that formula would give us the correct scale when you start from the letter you want, okay? So in this instance, a tone up from C is D, a tone up from D is E, and so on and so forth, okay? So whenever we're looking at chord construction, our first task is we must be able to get or create or remember, however you do it, the major scale you're looking for. So if you're looking to create a D major chord, you need to get the D major scale up here, okay? So we'll go through a few examples, okay? But for now, we're looking at C chords and therefore we've got the C major scale up here. So let's um, now just remind ourselves the major chord construction, okay? So like every chord that you can play, there's a formula, okay? And for major, so if I just write it here, okay, the major formula equals the first, the third and the fifth, okay, from the major scale. Okay, so therefore, and we're going to change to the yellow pen here, because why not, that would equal the C, okay, so there's your C, the 1, the 3 is E, and the 5 is G. And we have it, if you put a C, an E, and a G anywhere on the guitar, that's a C major chord, okay. So, hopefully that's kind of familiar to you. Let's just do minor, okay, so I'll come over here and we'll look at minor, okay, so we'll put a little line there minor. Now hopefully you guys know this and are familiar with this, but minor formula is 1, flat 3, and 5, okay? So this flattened third is the big difference between the minor and the major. And as we go further and further and deeper and deeper into chord construction, that's going to be crucial because this is going to really define the sound of the minor. So even though you might be thinking, well, we've got our C major scale here, how can we create a minor chord from that? Remember, everything you do is an alteration of the major scale, essentially. So these instructions where you flatten the third or flatten the five or flat the seven or sharpen the five or whatever it is, is an instruction based on your major scale. Okay, so that's why we must have the major scale first. So if we look at this, the C minor chord in this case will be a C, because that's the root note. Now instead of the E, we're flattening it. So we've got E flat, OK? 
Okay. And then the five is G. So those three notes anywhere on the guitar, a C, an E flat, and a G, will be a C minor chord. Okay, you can try it out for yourself now. If you've got a guitar there, try and just put those notes together anywhere on the guitar, and you might even find some cool, interesting shapes for a C minor chord. Okay? And last one for now that we're going to do is the diminished. Okay, so this is what we did in the essentials course. So I'm just going to write out diminished there. Hopefully I've spelt it correct, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and the formula for diminished okay, is 1, flat 3, flat 5. Okay, so again, we're in a situation where we've got an instruction for the major scale to create a diminished chord. Okay, so let's just put this together. The one is the C, of course it is. Flat three, instead of E, we need E flat. Okay, so that's great. And then flat five instead of the five. Okay, so that's going to be a G flat. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down there. So, looking at this now, um, we can see that the E flat is the same as the minor, so the flat third is still kind of defines the minor sound. It's this flat five here that really defines the sound of a diminished. Okay, so the moral of the story here, guys, is that one, you need to remember the formulas. You need to know and memorize the major, the minor, and the diminished formulas. Okay, secondly, you need to kind of understand which parts of that formula really make the difference in that chord. Okay, so in the minor, the flat third is the big, crucial difference in sound. If you just put the one and the flat third together, you're immediately going to make a minor sound. Okay, equally with diminished, the one with the flat five is the real difference, even though the flat three gives it an even more kind of dark sound, I guess you could call it. Um, so, you know, all of these are crucial in the diminished, but again, this is the, this is the part of it that really differs from the other chords. So, recap that, make sure you've got those together, and in the next lesson, we'll start looking at sus chords.